I am a Ukrainian American, and I live in Washington, D.C. Today, the world is watching as the clouds of a broader war spread closer to my beloved Ukraine, a country where I spent my childhood summers prior to the unjust invasion of Donbass and Crimea, a country filled with civilized, intelligent, and beautiful people who want to live with dignity and esteem, free from oppression, threats, lies, and corruption. The war waged against us since 2014 was not our choice, but rather the belligerent act of an aggressor nation without regard to international law or human suffering. This war is personal for me since my mother's family lives close to the war zone. My cousin is trapped in occupied Donetsk, unable to visit his family in free Ukraine. A close friend lost her mother to enemy fire in Avdivka while walking to buy bread. A soldier friend is now recovering in Mariupol after being injured on the front line. Similar tragic stories are being told by tens of thousands of families all across Ukraine who did nothing to deserve such suffering and loss. We Ukrainians chose democracy over autocracy because we want to be free to fulfill our destiny as citizens of the world with universal rights based on mutual understanding and respect. Since 2014, barbarians have done everything possible to break our Ukrainian spirit. Yet those challenges have only made us stronger and more united. In the shelling of our people, killing of our troops, and desecration of our land are scars that remind us that evil persists and the ghost of Ivan the Terrible lives on. It may be that we are again attacked by those who envy our liberty and self-determination. However, we are proud, brave, and fearless people who will forever fight and resist anyone who tries to take away our freedom, dignity, and democracy. We need all civilized nations and all civilized citizens in the world to help us oppose this war and regain our territory by showing solidarity with us. Together we are all one, because as Ukraine stands, so stands the entire free world. I am calling on everyone to share this video everywhere, along with the hashtag StandWithUkraine.